They're the most sought after pieces of gear in all of Minecraft dungeons, and the thrill of finding a unique never gets old. Hello friends, my name is Kodiak, one half of the team behind Legion Gaming, and with a little help from the heavens above, we've finally found a way to harness the light and heal your teammates. Today's video is all about the sun's grace. Unique items provide you with incredible bonuses in Minecraft Dungeons. They're the most elusive pieces of gear, which means tracking them down can be a huge challenge. If you didn't already know, you'll need to run through dungeons multiple times to unlock every piece of gear that biome has to offer. If you're not sure what gear you have unlocked and what you don't, head to the world map, hover over a biome, and check the bottom left corner of the info panel. Any slots with a question mark means they haven't been unlocked and you'll need to keep searching for the missing pieces. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Sun's Grace, a really interesting weapon for all you frontline healers out there. This weapon has incredible potential, but before we get into that, let's check out the stats. Sun's Grace features above average power, poor speed, and below average area of effect. And unlike some of the other items we've talked about in this series, I have to admit, swinging this weapon feels like a chore. I don't know why, but the speed and attack sequence makes this weapon feel burly. Now that's not all bad considering you are getting a decent amount of damage out of each attack, but overall swinging Sun's Grace feels sluggish. The weapon itself has a great unique effect, the Radiance Enchant baked right in. And if you've watched any of our videos in this series, you've probably picked up on the fact that we love the Radiance Enchant. The problem here is that all unique effects are equal to that of a Tier 1 Enchant, and that's a slight issue when we're talking about Radiance. The more stacks of Radiance, the more healing you can get, which is why it's so powerful on faster items like the Fighter's Bindings and Moon Daggers. Now this isn't to say that Radiance on Sun's Grace is bad, not even close. You just need to put a little time and thought into how to build around the weapon and make it truly work for you and your team. In terms of design, I'm a huge fan of Sun's Grace. For one, I love mace weapons, I just do. I think the design really matches the name perfectly, and the subtle variations of color really make this weapon feel unique. Sun's Grace pops off the screen in the inventory and in combat, and for me, that's really something special. The bright colors also lend itself well to the idea that this item has some sort of magical property. The devs did a really good job of tricking our brain here, and for that, I applaud them. We unlock the Sun's Grace from the blacksmith, but you can unlock this item in other places as well. Unique items are upgraded versions of their regular counterparts and can be found in the same zones. For example, if you wanted a unique heavy crossbow, you'd look in Cacti Canyon, but you could also find one in the Obsidian Pinnacle. So if you're looking for a specific unique, start by searching the map and identifying its common counterpart in one of the Minecraft dungeon's biomes. Sun's Grace is a fascinating weapon and the perfect choice for anyone trying out a frontline healer build. It's slow, yes, but with a few enchantments and the right combination of gear and artifacts, this weapon could easily be the centerpiece of a powerful build. What I love so much about this weapon is the real RPG element to it. From its name, to its design, down to the way you attack, it's just hard not to notice how well all the pieces fit together. Is the item perfect? No, sadly it's not, but there are some things we can do to fix that. Of course, my first suggestion here is speed. Look for items like the Deathcap Mushroom that will give you a much needed boost to your attack speed. In terms of enchantments, since we're already going for the full on healer, we might as well consider something like weakening, which gives your team even more utility. I know it's a choice off the beaten trail, but if we're building for a team comp, this might be the way to go. If you wanna go the more traditional route, something like rampaging could work. Increasing your attack speed is great. The faster you swing, the more radiance procs you get, which ultimately means more healing for your team. How you choose to build around Sun's Grace is really up to you. There are a lot of options and a lot to consider, but with a little time and some luck, it'll become a staple of your Minecraft Dungeons experience. We'll leave you with a small montage of footage so you can see the Sun's Grace in action. We hope you enjoyed this showcase of the Sun's Grace. We plan on showcasing every unique item in the game, so if you liked the video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe to Legion Gaming. 
We also invite you to join our Discord where you can meet up with fellow dungeon divers, talk about the game, and group up. Finally, if you like our video and want to support Legion Gaming even more, stop by our Patreon page. A few bucks gets you some awesome rewards like custom art and access to our private Minecraft server, so be sure to check it out. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legion Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.